Back in 2016, when Overwatch was first released, I started playing it and immediately fell in love. To this day, it is still one of my favourite first person shooters of all time for its fun characters, fast paced gameplay and its bright colours and style. Much like another game you should play. I played Overwatch almost exclusively as my main game for around two years or so, and then I stopped playing due to wanting to spend more time making YouTube videos. So you better fucking subscribe! And once I thought it was best to take a focus on making YouTube videos over playing games, I started preparing for the release of Super Smash Bros Ultimate, which is a game I could pursue as both my main game to play competitively and my main game to make YouTube videos on. It was an absolute perfect mix for me. And to be honest, I'm having more fun and being more productive when it comes to YouTube with Smash than I could be than any other game. There's just something about it. It's got fun characters, fast paced gameplay, bright colours and style. I think you see where this is going. Tracer, the most iconic hero in Overwatch and arguably the most iconic gaming mascot born in this console generation. Everyone knows Tracer. Anyone who is into gaming can name her from her distinctive design and even people who have not heard of Overwatch still recognise her. So wouldn't it be just perfect for Tracer to join her fellow gaming mascots and join the fight in Super Smash Bros Ultimate? Let's break down Tracer and discuss why her appearance in Smash is far more likely than you think. If you would like Tracer in Smash or if you just enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like because it helps so, so much and comment down below what characters you want to see in Smash as they may be used in a future video. Without further ado, this is why Tracer will make it into Super Smash Bros Ultimate. Number 1. Leaks. Ironically enough, as soon as I start talking about leaks in the video, I think uh, I feel a leak coming from my sink. My sink might be leaking. Oh, oh, I think I've just figured out what it is. If, if you look closely, you can see that uh, Smash has leaked again. Now, I know leaks are really not accurate all the time, but bear with me. This leak really adds up when you think about it all together. Just the other day, an anonymous 4chan user posted these details about a new fighter in Smash. September 12th new Smash character reveal. Female character, she's not a demanding character and will disappoint and confuse a lot of people. That is all. I mean, why would you be disappointed? Tracer's contender for the best ass in Smash. Oh, cheeky. Obviously we can't just trust any random 4chan league because they have the history of being... shit. But when you look at the timeline, this all adds up. After this leak was released, an Overwatch themed Switch case officially licensed by both Nintendo and Blizzard was revealed despite the game not being available on the Nintendo Switch. But just think about it, why would Overwatch based accessories be revealed for the Nintendo Switch officially licensed if there isn't any form of Overwatch representation on the Switch? The game itself isn't on the Switch. The case features the orange and black Overwatch colour scheme and features the Overwatch logo as the centre of the case. It is important to note that this case does not feature any reference to any Overwatch characters, including Tracer, who's arguably the most recognisable. So this case is likely to be evidence for Overwatch Switch Edition, rather than one of its characters being included in Smash, but when we put this case and the leak together, it all adds up to Tracer's inclusion in Smash. Then again, it's just a case and a virgin looking for clout on 4chan, so we should take this all with a grain of salt. This leak is partly discredited by the date in which they say Tracer will be revealed. September 12th seems way too early for another Smash reveal, especially considering we have Banjo-Kazooie set to release in Fall 2019, which would make a September reveal way too early for Tracer, as we'd had to wait anywhere between 4 to 7 months for her release, which is way too long. Then again, we had to wait the lifespan of a small Yorkshire Terrier for Joker to release after his reveal at the Game Awards. The leaker also went on to add, on top of this leak, that this character will have a mecha, which in theory, you think would discredit Tracer as a character the leaker's talking about, but it's actually possible that D.Va, the mecha character from Overwatch, may appear in Tracer's Final Smash as a sort of all-out attack with all of the characters from Overwatch. Because when you think about it, what's Overwatch most famous for? It's characters! 
so surely all of them would be represented in Tracer's final smash. Overall, I'm as skeptical about this leak as any other would, but I think the Switch case being revealed and the detail about the mecha, if it's D.Va, make this leak highly likely to be talking about Tracer and Smash. And to be honest, I would definitely not be mad if Tracer made it into Smash. Number 2. A perfect fit. In the intro of this video, I explained how Overwatch and Smash are very similar games. They have a large roster of characters, bright and colourful design, a very fast playstyle. Everything adds up, and these similarities are exactly why I feel Tracer would be a perfect fit in Smash. She's got a shed load of moveset potential, and charm for days like any gaming icon. Not to mention that great ass. Oh. Cheeky. So what reason do we have to not include Tracer in Smash? She fits all of the criteria to be a perfect fighter, and a good way to help determine this, a method I like to use, is to imagine what taunts the character would have in-game. It really helps to give a perspective on how the character's personality can translate into Smash. Think about it. Tracer would translate super well if we use this method. For her taunts, she could just use any of her emotes from Overwatch, like her dance or her sit emote, while she says her most iconic lines from Overwatch, like the one you all know and love where she tells you to subscribe if you're enjoying the video and hit the bell to get notified on all future uploads. Wait a minute. Could you imagine how frustrating it would be to be getting your ass kicked by a Tracer main while she spams the taunt line? Cheers, love! The cavalry's here! It would be incredibly annoying and would make such an amazing taunt for the player to spam. But I know I said it's a good method to translate if the character's personality would fit in Smash, but why should we talk about taunts when we can be discussing the meat and potatoes of any Smash fighter? Which of course is... Number 3. The Moveset. We all know the main reason we get hype for a new fighter in Smash is their moveset. As well as their ass. Cheeky. What new playstyle and moves will the new character bring to Ultimate? That is the question we ask and answer with speculation about new fighters' movesets months before their potential appearance in Smash or even their potential reveal. We spend so long answering these questions just because it's an exciting and fun thing to do. But why would Tracer stand above all else when it comes to moveset potential? I believe this is because Tracer in fact could bring an entirely new playstyle to Smash. A playstyle we haven't even seen yet. Tracer will be the first character to originate from a first person shooter in Super Smash Bros history. And this fact should be the exact basis of her moveset. Tracer should be able to fire her rapid fire pistols whilst moving freely to rack up small amounts of damage as she runs around the battlefield. After a small burst of firing, Tracer should be able to reload like she does in Overwatch. This move will give Tracer the exact same playstyle she does in Overwatch. She's got to be around you all the time, annoying you, doing small burst damage with her pistols. And to be honest, what a fun character it would be to play. It would be like Joker's gun, but freely moving and just in your face at all times. But the drawback is, you have to reload, so it's not going to be like Joker where he's constantly firing at you. Tracer's abilities from Overwatch can also be translated directly to Smash from their original appearances. Her most famous ability, the Blink, allows her to have a short movement burst in any direction. She has free charges which come back after a short period, and in Smash it can function as a variation of Tracer's roll. While she's rolling, the player can press B and choose a direction, and Tracer will move further and faster during her roll. This will allow Tracer to have more movement options and the ability to outspeed her opponents, and maybe get in and even start a combo from it. And again, this fits into Tracer's playstyle from Overwatch. She'll be constantly moving around you, using her guns, using her blinks to find an opening, not only to shoot you with the guns, but to also start a combo. Tracer has an ability in Overwatch called Rewind, where she moves back to her location three seconds ago, as well as restoring her health back to the value it was three seconds ago. In Smash, this move may have to undergo some minor changes, and it would be quite frustrating to pull off a combo on Tracer, only to have the damage undone as she counterattacks you from a new position, but to be honest, I trust that the Sakurai and the Smash team can find a way to make this move to balance for Tracer. It'd be really good as a down special, in my opinion. Tracer's last ability in Overwatch is her ultimate, the Pulse Bomb. Though this move in Overwatch is her ultimate, I believe it should just be a standard move in Smash because it really isn't worth being a final Smash and this move can function exactly the same as Inkling's Splat Bomb. But that raises a question. If this isn't her final Smash, what will be? I mentioned it earlier, but I would like to see all the heroes of Overwatch 
team up for one all-out attack. You can have every character using their ultimate at once. It would be amazing to see, and with the mecha leak earlier, D.Va can feature in this final smash, which would add credit to that leak, as Tracer would technically have a mecha as part of her moveset. But what do you think of Tracer and Smash? Do you wanna? Comment down below, let's start a discussion. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and be sure to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications on all upcoming videos, because you don't want to miss any of this. Consider following me on Twitter and Instagram, Twitter mainly, because that's where you're going to be getting a lot of the updates. They will both be in the description. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Go beyond, plus ultra.